Hi, this is uh, Jack Spierko with MarketingIce.com, and today's lesson is going to be uh, a real simple one. It's just the basic setup uh, and making a post and adding a link to a blog or blog. Now, actually, we have uh, much more in-depth lessons on uh, using really some of the more advanced features with Blogger, and more importantly, how to strategically use Blogger as one tool in a whole portfolio uh, of, of different assets and trying to get lots of traffic to your websites, lots of buyers to your websites, lots of opt-ins to your newsletters, and, and getting really good rankings using Blogger is just one piece of the puzzle. But that all starts with at least knowing how to set up a Blogger blog. Uh, everybody should have at least one. Uh, if, if you're like uh, a lot of marketers, you might have multiple Blogger blogs. If you already know how to set up a Blogger blog, this probably isn't the lesson that uh, you really need to uh, pay too much attention to. If you've never set one up, this should make things a little easier for you. Now, the one thing you're going to need before you set up an account uh, or a Blogger blog with the new Blogger system that, that just came out about a few months ago is you're going to have to have an account with Google. Now, I'm not going to go over how to set up an account with Google. I just wanted to uh, show you that if you don't have one, it's really simple. Go to google.com forward slash accounts uh, and then just set up, create a new account. Basically, it's filling out a form, so I'm not going to go through that with you. Once you've done that, what you need to do is go over to blogger.com. And when you get to blogger.com, you'll see a screen that looks a lot like this, and they're plugging their new blogger. If you're setting up a new blog, you don't even want to mess with old blogger. You want to stick to new blogger. Pretend you don't even see this here. So you click on new blogger, it's going to ask you to log in. Now, even if you don't have a blogger blog, you go ahead and you log in with the email and password from your Google account. And once you do that, you're going to be taken to a control panel. This is a little secondary Google account I've set up a couple little uh, 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 blogs on, uh, just some fun stuff to play around with. I'm going to use it to create a new one. This is not my main account here. Uh, when you log in the first time, you won't see any blogs to manage because you don't have any yet. What you will see is a link that says Create a Blog. And it's that simple. Just quick click on Create a Blog. You get to the next screen. Now we need to title our blog. Now what I am going to do is I'm going to create a blog on Merlot Wine. I happen to do some stuff uh, with wine uh, and some wine sites. So I'm going to do one on Merlot and I'm going to call it Merlot Wines for under $10. Okay. And I'm going to try to get Merlot Wine I'm going to try to just get merlot.blogspot.com. That's probably not going to be available. I'm going to give it a shot. And then I have to go ahead, and you'll see these letters right here. You need to type those in. And this is to make sure that people aren't using, like, automated technology to set up a 1,000 blogs in a day. You know, click Continue. It says, sorry, but this has been taken. So I'm going to try merlot-wine and hit Continue. And we're going to see if that's available. No, that blog is taken as well. So I'm going to try inexpensive hyphen Merlot wine. Um, there's a reason I'm using this, and you'll learn about it in later lessons. Uh, just know that I have a particular theme that I'm working with. Okay, that one was available. What my first choice in a, a, a available name? I'll probably put more thought into it if I was... Uh, actually going to spend a lot of time with this blog, but since this is going to be a simple blog just to use for some educational purposes, um, I'm going to be happy with that name. Uh, you'll see a selection of basic templates that you can set up. I kind of like this one. You're going to have an opportunity to change it later if you want to. Uh, into a, There's a lot more different templates that you can use, but I'm going to select that one for now. Once you select a template that you want to use, just click Continue. Now my blog has been created. That's it. I now have a blog. I'm now a blogger. Even if I've never blogged before, I'm ready to blog. So it says start posting. So I'm going to click on start posting. And it's going to take me into my blog. I mean, it's that simple. Now I'm ready to start publishing content online. Here's what I'm going to do first. I'm going to do a post all about Merlot grapes. Now I have some content here in Notepad, so you don't have to sit here and watch me type. I'm going to grab this content, 
and I'm going to hit control C to copy it. I'm going to come back over here to Blogger. I'm going to drop it in. Now, I'll tell you what, this content actually came from one of my existing websites. So I'm going to change it a little bit. Uh, probably not enough to totally get through duplicate content filters, but I really enjoy Merlot wines. As for Merlot grapes, they, I'm going to change this to have deep color and full body producing. And I'm going to just kind of leave it like that because I don't really need to worry. I may come back and fool around with this a bit later. Um, there's some another feature uh, that Blogger has are labels. Down here is uh, actually this is the ability to put technorati tags. The next lesson is going to show you uh, how to actually install this so that you can do it. This will not be there when you first learn. What will be there though are labels. Uh, this is really a great thing. So I'm going to put in Merlot wine, inexpensive wine, Merlot reviews, Merlot grapes. This helps people, if they ever come to this blog, find posts based on their their content. It's kind of the same thing as tags, but it doesn't work with this Technorati service that you'll learn about in the next lesson. So now I've done that. Now I can either save it as a draft or publish. I'm going to go ahead and hit publish. Uh, before I publish, I want to show you down here, you have the ability to either allow or not allow people to comment. Uh, I usually allow people to comment. Uh, I usually moderate the comments. We'll show you how to do that in another lesson. But one really cool thing is you can set your time and date. Let's say you're setting up a new blog, but you have like 20 posts to load into it. You could actually stagger them out to make them look like they were put in over a period of weeks. We've done that before uh, for various strategic reasons. But all we have to do now is hit publish. And it says my blog post published successfully. View my blog. All right. Well, I'm going to have to go ahead and conclude this part of our video. Be sure to tune in for part two to see the rest of the presentation. And thank you for watching.